Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of The Waste Stone. Today, we are going to hear the air conditioner for just a second, and then we're also gonna take a look at what I've done to the cave, and I think you're gonna like what's happened. Uh, not a ton has happened, honestly. Uh, I've worked out some of the ceiling stuff, made it a little bit more interesting in the ceiling. Still working this out. I think I'm gonna keep the granite, uh, but make it a little more interesting. And yeah, so we have not done anything over there. And we have added a little potted plant. That was fun. Uh, added a little bit more interest to the walls over here with just some stairs and stuff. And then I have been working. Okay, so we'll go over here first. So we're going to extend the chests this way and have one, two, three more of these stacked up chests. And I think that's going to be a good addition and i have added this and you can see something fun there and i've also added to the ceiling as you can see i just need more spruce leaves i don't think we have a ton left do we even have any or no it'd be down here okay we got 49 but that's not enough to finish this place out i don't think so finished up the ceiling a bit and walls and just need to add leaves now but one addition that i have made is this little fun area. It's like a little side bedroom. I thought it was really a little fun sort of thing for us to have. Like you got a little window there. Uh, you can sleep and shut it so no one can actually see you sleeping, which is important. And yeah, so I thought it was just a really fun little nook to add to this place. Uh, matches this really nicely. Uh, and yeah, so uh, today we're not actually going to be I know last episode, I said we were going to be working in here doing the dolphin thing, but I'm going to extend that and put that on the back burner for just a moment. As you can see, we got a lot of bookshelves and stuff. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a library or at least beginning the library. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done. Uh, I came here to get stone and we're going to need to cook quite a bit of stone. So what I wanted to do was cook up a lot of stone and let's see, we need some coal and we're going to do that, I think. There. Okay. So I'm going to cook up a lot of this here coal and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a library because I raided the stronghold uh, waffle sticks said it would be fine if i raided our stronghold where the end portal is and i came upon two libraries one was a smaller library I still had a lot of books but it was smaller and the other was larger actually quite big uh, and uh, now we have a lot of books and so i figured you know what why not share the wealth i don't need all these books um, i had a lot of leather and uh, paper uh, a lot of sugarcane as you can see to make paper and we still have some leather to be able to make bookshelves and stuff. Can make, what, nine more bookshelves? Um, but I thought, you know what? We got all these books, and books are a little bit of a nuisance to make. So might as well share the wealth and make a library. So we're going to make a library shop. I think what we're going to sell is turn a lot of this into paper, and we'll sell paper for, like, four stacks for a diamond or something. And since it's not terribly hard to get... Um, and then books, I'm thinking of being a little stingy on books and doing 16 books for one diamond um, or 32. I don't know. I can't really decide because I mainly don't have a source for leather right now. So I don't have a way to be able to be able to get this going. Um, but we may do 32, 16 or 32. Not really sure how many um, to give for one diamond. So yeah, we're going to need a lot of stone because I want to make some stone brick. And uh, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to gather that stuff up and we should be good to go after I get some of this stuff worked out. So I'm going to keep grabbing materials and then I'm going to show you where we're going to be um, making all this stuff. So let me get all this material stuff gathered up and then we'll just jump right on in. All right, so this is the location that we are going to be building in, if you want to reference it. So our little granite house is right there. Um, I would zoom, but I haven't actually installed the Alpha Optifine quite yet. Um, this is just a giant pond, and it looks like Canelia has already started planning. I believe Canelia. Again, here we go. Here we go. Professional zoom. Yep, Canelia. 
Canelia is going to be making something down there. I don't know what. Um, at least that's what the sign says. It's about all I know. Um, but yeah, so we're right here. To get down here, I have made a small little tunnel. Um, don't know what that is. Um, so there's this little pathway here. Uh, there's a connecting cave, and so we'll be working... I, I'll probably just do this off camera, or we may work on this next episode as a little mini thing. I uh, may borrow Llama's uh, camera account um, to do a little time lapse or something of this. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be like a little tunnel or something. It's just to give this hillside a little interest because there isn't really anything here. Um, give it a little interest. We could have a little tunnel go down and then easy access for down here instead of having to jump off the side of that mountainside. Um, and so, let's see. What are we going to do? Well, I have a lot of stone, and this little floating place by Fos's area up there uh, wasn't... There's no sign or anything to say, hey, don't build here, so I'm uh, building here. And uh, that, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that we're doing that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically terraform this mountainside and we're going to extend this mountain up over up here and we're going to uh, do some terraforming on the top. But it's going to basically what I want to do is make this library look like it's built into this. And so this I have flattened out so we can have a nice face for the library. But what we're going to do on this side is actually go with it. So I thought, you know what, we've got this cool little like small area here. What we could do is have like a side a little entrance or exit or something and maybe have like a little garden or something over here um, with a view of this area. And then what we could also do, because there's this convenient little connection point right here with this, uh, I thought we could make like a... Um, you know how resorts have, uh, oh yeah, it's going to be called Books and Brew because I want to make it like a, make like a cafe section. Totally useless to Minecraft built, playing, but I thought it, I don't know, it added brew and makes b and B. I I don't know. Um, but I thought it could be fun because of Update Aquatic, we could make a kind of water themed cavey sort of build style if that makes any sense like a uh oh i don't know some pool like high-end pool really high-end pools have like a water bar where you can like literally swim up to the bar and that's kind of what i'm thinking is maybe not a bar but like a cafe where you can actually like you just chill in the water and stuff and you get your drinks and your foods and stuff i don't know and you can uh read your books i guess I don't know. Thought it'd be a fun connection. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But what we need to do, I've lit, I've mapped out where this is going to go. And so what we need to do is build this up. This is going to be into the entrance right here. You're going to have a nice big entrance. And, uh, or at least it's going to look, it's going to be two small doors, but it's going to, you know what I mean. And then I need to build this up and make it look a little bit more natural. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that and start kind of laying that out a bit because it's going to be well we can do it for do it ourselves here um it's going to be a little interesting so i don't know let's work on the side that we just will connect up real easy because this should line up with this and so what i want to do this portion will prop that's going to be interesting uh, we don't have silk touch, but we do have these, which we can use as building blocks, or, well, scaffolding. Um, and we have feather falling, so didn't even take, like, any damage. Actually, we did. So that's going to connect up there. That probably won't change too much. There's already a good amount of overhang, so we can actually bump that out a little bit. And let's see, what else? Where are we going to go? This will probably I think one two three four five and then maybe we can bump this in one two three and then I would like to bump it back out a little bit and then do that 
there. And then maybe, oh, we didn't even build in the right spot. <laughs> Bring that down and then right like that, maybe. See how that looks. So, yeah, I mean, we, it's going to be interesting. We're going to have to like build it up a bit. So here, let tell you what, let me build this up just a little bit more, get a little more strategy going, because we don't have too much in the ways of strategy. Uh, let me build this up, and then I'll come back to you with a little bit more of a shape and feel for this, because it's going to be a little interesting. Uh, so I will be back with a little bit more of an interesting build here. All right, guys, I have literally no idea when the last time I recorded was, but we're going to continue working. So I, this week's been really busy, and I've been working on a project for work, and it was a presentation, and it was basically, since this is like a training time, uh, we had just covered a, uh, what they call a module, like it was module three is what we had to present on, and me and my partner worked on a decent amount of overtime um, to do it, and oh, hello, Narga. Um, I think that's Narga, or or waffle stick. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so yeah, there was just a lot of overtime. So we've been working. Oh, I also have made this uh, little tunnel to be able to go down to our library area. Um, as I said, I'll make it better. Um, but this will. I'll probably just do this off camera because it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but I have done quite a bit of work because I haven't had a ton of time to record. Um, so as you can see, like there's actual stuff done. Uh, and we'll get into that in just a sec. I wanted to do some smelting because we still need a fair amount of stone. And we have quite a bit of cobble. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, near, near, good enough. So we'll go two and you, two and you, take you, two and you, two and you, take you, two, one and you, okay, take you, uh -huh. there, and there. All right, so now we have plenty of stone. That is good, that's gonna drive me a little insane. I am a little bit anal about that stuff, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do, well first I'm gonna show you what I did. So over here on this side, as you can see, I'm growing acacia just so I can get some more stuff. And what I've done is tried to make it look a little cathedrally in terms of, I don't know if that makes sense, but like a rounded window and it's got like a tall-ish tower looking thing and I think it's good. Uh, so this would be like the side entrance, and this would be the, that area will be a window, uh, like a rounded window. And so you'll come in here, and obviously there's nothing in here, and we're not going to do anything in here in this episode. Um, but yeah, so I have done quite a bit of work on the front to get it feeling a little natural. So any holes like this is going to be windows, and I wanted them to be kind of like they're just like built in to the mountainside the way however they best could fit and I think it, they'll end up looking pretty cool so the entrance will be right there it'll be a single door entrance and then it'll be have this like nice little weird shaped window but I think it'll feel natural maybe a window right there as well uh, and then I've gone ahead and made this like cliff top area uh, that you'll eventually be able to get to and that's what we're going to try and do today I th think I have some wood with me not a ton hmm oh wait no never mind we got plenty of wood i was like i swear i had wood um but yeah so the goal is gonna be at least this episode to it's gonna leave one left over okay that's probably way too much but that's okay so let's show i'm gonna show the up top here so what i've done is made it kind of like this upper area is an area where you can um like there'll be a cliffhanger over and I don't know if there's a good way to show this. We're going to have to actually get some dirt. Do we have dirt? That's coarse dirt, but we'll use it. Um, and so what I want to do is get up here. And so this is going to be like a little area you can come out. Maybe we'll put some like chairs and stuff or trees or I don't know exactly. Just a nice place to be able to sit as uh, the library is like 
this is like a, the second floor of the library. And so I wanted to run all the way down that way. And it's going to be a really interesting room. Um, and we'll have to transition it from grass to wood, like a wood ceiling. But I think that this will be end up being okay. I think what I'm going to do first is make it all wood and then go from there. Because I think that'll just be easier. And of course I'm making this on the... Well, no, it's not necessarily on the wrong level. We can just do this for now. And just make it step up a wee bit. That doesn't need to necessarily be there. That can be like that. And so yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. I'm probably going to get attacked by uh, phantoms because I haven't slept in quite a while. But that's okay. So yeah, uh, we're going to make this the level. And then you can see that's where the window, the round window will be. And I'll have to extend up the ceiling a bit and kind of yeah extend it up a little bit so that we can actually... Oh, never mind. Somebody's sleeping. I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's the work I've been doing. So the presentation went really, really well, like really well. Uh, my partner Clifford and I, uh, my, well, my partner Clifford, uh, he and I tied for first place. It was kind of rank, uh, like ranked. Um, and we tied for first place. And so that's really exciting and fun. Uh, and is like, yeah, that's just really, it's, it was really cool. Clifford's a great guy, and he's, he was like, he and I meshed so well, and it was really, it was pretty funny. Like, we'd never worked together, but it was definitely a nice teamwork moment. Um, I don't know how I want to handle this, because most of this, I also have llamas. Um, actually, no, none of this is, is this? There it is. Um. I am borrowing Llama's uh, Silk Touch pick. Hopefully he hasn't needed it. I will feel bad if he has, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so presentation went really well, uh, but that's why there was no Bruin build yesterday and why there, or two days ago now, because this is going to come out on Sunday, a uh, day late. And sorry about that, but I just there's nothing I could do about it. Um, I didn't want to rush it. And, oh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> Man. Um, so I didn't want to rush the video, but I also, like, I, I wanted to provide you guys with a video. So it was kind of this interesting balance I had to strike. Uh, and so Sunday is when this is coming out, or hopefully. And that's just because the past week has been pretty crazy uh, in terms of how much work has been done. And it's it's been, I mean... Obviously, it was for the better because we won. Um, so this is going to all have to probably be a wall like that, which is okay. But yeah, so it'll make like this nice little weird upstairs portion. Uh, I got to figure out where the stairs will come in play here. But I think that'll be good. So it'll be like this nice little reading area upstairs. And then can do that I suppose and then you can come out here into this grassy area and if you want you can read and there will be I'll landscape this and stuff a bit but yeah so I wanted I just wanted to show you guys this because this is the progress I've made and explain a little bit as to why uh, I have been kind of away from things uh, real life just got in the way but it was good because I actually got I kind of got to prove my metal at my work um, so it was good. It was a good, really good time, and my partner and I had a really nice time working on the project, and we're just very glad that it's done. That can go right like that, and we can do something like that, or maybe that'll be a sitting area or something, I don't know. I don't know. We'll do something. Um, but yeah, so... I don't know how much more I plan to do on this in this episode. I think this should be good. Next episode, we can tackle the interior, um, and I can get the exterior finished and show it off next episode because a lot of it's going to be texture variation. And what I plan to do for that, actually, I'll show you this so nothing is a surprise or anything like that. I doubt it would be surprising, but there we go. Now we can have a way up, and I'm just going to take that 
rock because me I like me some coarse dirt. And so for texture variation, what I'm planning on doing is very similar to our cave, is using acacia wood and gravel, and we'll actually use andesite and polished and yeah, just like all this stuff. Uh, mainly because I want it to appear mainly like it's made out of the cliffside, but I also want it to appear like, um, oh, you know, like they're actually trying to keep make it keep up and like the keep up of it is being done, if that makes sense. Um, and so food, I'm going to actually transport that around there. Um, and so I want it to appear like the people who own this, whoever the librarians, are actually trying to keep the building up and keep it nice. And so there'll be like brick, uh, stone bricks thrown throughout uh, to be to like show that they are trying to repair it. But at the end of the day, it is also mainly stone, uh, a stone cliffside. And that's what I want it to appear mainly like. And so that's why there will be a bunch of random. And so it's it's kind of going to be like a ransacky library look. But I think overall it'll look really cool. So this is the texture variation I'm going to work with. Oh, gosh. I hate that. I hate, like, the screen bouncing back and forth like that. It's so annoying. Is there a window? Can there be a window here? Yeah, there can be. I think this would be a fun little weird window to have. Yeah, this will be like a weird window. I like it. I'm really trying to do like make some of these builds kind of strange because I mean, yeah, that would be fun. Like a, a really strange window, but I think it'll be good. And then we can have a lot of depth because we can put like glass blocks instead of actual um, glass panes. And so we can add just an extra layer of depth. And I think that will that really helps um, make things appear a little bit like more realistic, if that makes sense. You can add a lot more depth to things, essentially. But yeah, so that, I guess that'll be a window now. Um, and we can throw some bricks and stuff in here. And we're going to we'll get that later. And then let's see, let's let, let's show also this is where the cafe portion is going to be. We'll be in here. I'm not really sold currently on the idea I had previously about the water cafe. I don't know if it makes really any sense. Um, I was mainly just wanting to do that because of update aquatic, but I don't think that that makes too much sense for the location. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to do a cafe that's a little bit more interesting. Um, and fits with this theme. So maybe an overgrown cave cafe. I think that'll be just better uh, in general. Cool. So that's there. We'll do that. And we can do this like that. Yeah, this is starting. I think this is starting to, to uh, come along. So you get the idea with the stone bricks. We aren't going to be doing like crazy in depth. But this, what I wanted to do. See, that, that bouncing screen is so annoying. We can do that because we'll put a slab on top. Um, and then this we can do there. And then some random little portions, right like this. And I really want it to just be a very gray feeling um, build, because I think that that could be, that'll be really helpful. And so this adds just another texture. Uh, it is a little different, but maybe it's something like they ran out of stone, and so they uh, they don't really have anything to be able to, you know, um, fix and repair things with currently, and so they had to use just some basic wood materials. I think that could be interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't think I can do anything there, but maybe right here. I don't know if that's too much wood in that area. We will see. Uh, we could do maybe a too tall one there. Ooh, we ran out. But I really love the acacia wood. Like, I love the gray in the acacia wood. This orange is a little hard to work with in t at times, but I think when done right, can be very interesting. And I think maybe what we'll try and do, even though I've already done the inside floor, is maybe we'll try using 
the acacia wood in that aspect. Um, give me that. Thank you. I think that might be interesting to get up there. Very good. And then we can go here, here. And that stuff fell on the inside, but, you know, that's okay. See, and so you're starting to get this, like, interesting texture uh, variation going on. And give me this stone. Ooh, a little bit of stone in here. Snag that. And then I think here, to make things interesting, is we can have some panes. I think this these windows will be panes. This will be blocks. Um, and that'll add help add just a wee bit of... Nope, not there. That'll add just a wee bit of interest and good that that went to an area. There we go. Right, almost couldn't get it. Right like that, and right like that. All right, so this is some, um, just a little bit of what the front, now obviously I think it'll look better. Um, so actually, let me, sh to show you that, let me go get some glass, and then I'll be back, right back with you to show you exactly kind of what we're going to be working with. All right, so I've done some work, as you can see. Added some glass, glass, not gr 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 grass. Added some glass and done some work on the bottom level here just to, to show you an idea of what it's going to be here. So yeah, I think it looks, uh, I think it looks pretty good, pretty rustic and uh, interesting. I think it'll make for a really, really cool, interesting library. Um, so the gold is for next episode. I will finish this up up here you get the text variation hopefully i don't know how much over here i will actually do because fos's house is right there and i don't want to like mess up his area or anything so i'll probably just work on this cliff side and just like the cliff side that affects us um and just try and hide the mycelium if anything because eventually the mycelium will be gone um so yeah, I will work on the outside exterior, get it all done so I can show you guys next episode. Uh, did not do anything over here. We'll get that also textured up and good to go. Um, I ended up adding some gravel for some extra texture and some slabs and stairs. And I think that looks made it look a lot better, a lot more run down and beaten up. Um, so that's going to be the goal. Uh, hopefully we now that we have... Uh, silk touch on we have like a silk touch shovel we can go find a uh, mine shaft for some cobwebs i think that'll look good in the library uh, and yeah so we're going to be selling books bookshelves maybe if i can actually like come up with it i don't know um primarily books and paper and leather i think is what we're going to do maybe some ink i don't know there's our um nadav has a uh, shop already that has ink so i don't know if we'll do that uh, probably not. I don't want to undercut him or anything. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Sorry it was so weird and this week's been so weird. Um, just had a lot of work stuff going on and real life stuff. And next week there will be a Bruin build and another episode of the Waystone. And it, it should hopefully be back on track next week. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like in real life. And if you um, enjoy what I'm doing and are looking forward to seeing how this turns out, uh, feel free to subscribe, join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.